So one of the things I've learned in life is to tune in and empathize with a person emotionally and what they're going through or experiencing in life. So for example, instead of being less really mental, I'm a bit more in my heart and understanding them and stepping in their shoes. So I just had a, a Romanian guy um, deliver some boxes um, outside you know, to our house and I went out to him and he had a box and I said, where are you from? Are you from like Russia or like um, somewhere? And he's from Romania and I said, oh cool, I've never been there. I hear it's a nice place and he's, oh yeah, it's like snowy. And uh, I said, um, so yeah, are you planning on like your family coming visit you or you visit them back for Christmas? And he said, no, no, I'm actually spending uh, in, in Italy. And I said, oh, very good. I said, that's really nice. Uh, you deserve a break from your from your like lots from your hard work as well. He's like, he seemed just really happy that like it was a mixture of expressing a care and tuning in, but also just like feeling into his life and his like what he wants and like how he's feeling in general, like a lovely break and talking about his family. But, uh, yeah, that type of thing can like mean the world to, to people, you know, because so much of the time we're just like thinking of ourselves and obsessed and not really putting ourselves in people's shoes. And I find that like putting ourselves in other people's shoes to un make understand to understand people in terms of like, conflict or strife or stress, I find that's like really 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 important for like conflict resolution as well as like our, our own inner internal resolution of our frequency vibration and consciousness. So we we are struggling or carrying a big baggage that holds us down and ho holds us back in life, and um, a heavy sense of closeness and like stress and tension, you know, and grief and turmoil inwardly because that's. A, that's all inner healing is about us and changing our mind and changing our thoughts and changing our perception our beliefs and our story that we tell ourselves and then we can connect with others you know so one deeper understanding is imperative um but yeah tuning into others in general is like a really beautiful sort of gift in a way it's like giving a little bit of your time just to like feel into someone else's reality and possible stresses struggles strains and joys and it is just such a beautiful thing it really is you know it's very it is and to a certain degree beautiful type of selfishness because it feels good to care and give and feel into other people's um, emotions in life and I highly recommend it it will forge relationships instead of build them instead of um, destroy them and usually when, when I tune into other people's like, emotions in terms of like conflict or between people or like division between us I, real, I have realized, I've come to realize people are innocent at heart. They want the same as us. They just want to be happy and at peace. And they're just the same as me because they just struggle in life just like me. So we all struggle. We're all just doing our best with what we know and where we're at and what we have. So we're all struggle. We're all doing our best. We're all innocent at heart. We don't go, we're not meaning to go around hurting ourselves and each other. It's just all about what we've learned in terms of communication and just everything in general. And when we learn this compassion, love, unity, consciousness and kindness can prevail and it brings inner peace.